What up, what up, we feel what it do. Welcome back to the We Feel, y'all. Welcome to you if you new. Hey, welcome to you too. My name is La La T, and I am a spiritual reader, channeled messenger, bringing you messages from the big three, the Alpha Omega, the infinite intelligence, and the breath of life, the life force, the holy chi. Yes, the word is resurrecting this day. It is moving on the breath of life. I be Sue. We wanted to bring in a quick message. It's kind of like a follow-up to the last reading as we cleared this space, this energy out. The Most High God did not allow me to take up this energy. It's about somebody that's emotionally stunted, I feel, and uh, earlier than adolescence. I'm feeling like seriously emotionally stunted, and this person could, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. They may not necessarily be safe. We, they may not. You know what I mean? I feel like you are protected. Seven of Wands energy. Like the spirit has its energy wrapped around you like that rubber band. I just had to take off. Like you are held and bound by the spirit. You are protected. But there's something else that the Most High wanted to say about this situation. So we have to bring it. This person that is in discontent, yeah, definitely something that the spirit, thank you, because it's something that just rushed past me, like, seriously, I just got a whole breeze of air. Um, I could feel the presence. Thank you to the most I got. For being in this space. Thank you for protecting me as we bring this message. Thank you for edifying me with your message and let me overflow so that the message may reach the wheat that it is destined for. This earthly angel that you have sent with a mission, you are protecting them. They are hedged and they are surrounded. They are facing a spiritual enemy in this spiritual battle and I feel that it is coming to an ending it's coming to a close and I feel like this energy knows it I feel like both of you are intuitive that they have a knowingness but I feel like this person again is distorted in their emotions like they are stunted and I feel like you guys were developing some sort of foundation and it was a vision that you two both shared. And when this relationship fell apart, this person is stuck in that energy and unable to release. Is that right? Yes. I feel four cups. They don't want anything else. Like this person is refusing to take any offers, even offers from the Most High God that is coming in. They are refusing their intuition. Their sound spiritual advice, they're listening to something dark, something distorted, something that is uh, causing them a lot of mental conflict and a lot of mental chaos. Like, I feel like they are warring inside of their own mind and all of their attention is directly targeted at you, beloved. Yeah. This person is, like I said, is under a lot of mental pressure, emotional pressure. Again, I feel like um, a lot is weighing down, like crumbling, like it's falling down with this tower. I feel like, it, I don't know if this is their persona or their mask or what they put out towards the other, to the world or just how they feel about themselves. Like it's a lot that I feel like is going on with this person, I mean like 10, 10, 10 across the board is what I feel, you know, like a lot, a lot of destructive energy. And I feel like this tower with the 16 breaking down to seven is having them do a lot of introspection. Again, three of pentacles, I felt this foundation, this shared vision, but it was a false foundation. Something with it was false. It was fake, probably because this person was false and it was fake. Like they have a distorted vision of self, you know, and I feel like they are so imbalanced, emotionally imbalanced, emotionally immature and stuck that this coming down, this crumbling is having them look at self 
and they can't take what they see in the mirror. This is what I feel like. They can't take what they see in the mirror. They are definitely, again, this Eight of Swords. They can't take it. It feels like they want to be bound to you or they are doing anything to stay bound or they are mentally stuck on this image of this Two of Cups. Even though it wasn't really real. Maybe to them it was supposed to be an unbreakable bond, you know, because you guys were showing as King and Queen of Cups. You know, but I feel like, again, this King of Cups was emotionally stunted. It was something that was off. There's something distorted. So they feel um, powerless and imprisoned in a mental prison where all they do is think and ruminate about you. And all of their thoughts are targeted at you. At you. And that's true. They have some clarity, you know, about self, about them, their own self. And they have clarity about you and who you really were to them. And um, I'm hearing what should have been, right, is what I'm getting. Expectation. What should have been. And this is what this person is thinking about. All, all while they're looking in the mirror, you know what I mean? dressing themselves up or trying to keep up this false persona they they really are anxious and feeling you know in a whole kind of way probably about this earth angel that got away they feel a whole kind of way seeing you now in your true light and how you got away or how they pushed however you went away you got away but they feel loss and despair they have to face a whole bunch of old wounds that they don't want to look at they don't they're not they don't want to face it nope they're not facing it refusal is there what they refuse to see it's like distorted energy and I mean they having some gloomy thoughts but that's not them Standing on this cliff, love it. If they had their way, it would be you. And this person is feeling real impulsive, like passionate, like distorted. I feel anger and rage because of the vision, this shared vision that was there is gone away. Knight of Wands, yeah. Like I said, impulsive. They may be looking for you. I see exploration in this, but just in a different way. Yeah, I feel like them studying and planning, you know, something against you. I feel like this person is sick, you know, mentally. This person is sick, you know. And they're looking at you. Go off and glow up, transmute all that negative energy, bossing up, you know, independent, listening to the spirit, your spirit guide telling you how to move, you know, how to cover you with the umbrella, you know, you're covered, I feel. You have honor and respect. I hear impeccable. That you are independent. And we see somebody challenged with the fact that you moved to calmer water and wish fulfillment. Walked away from them. And you are fulfilled despite them. Happiness. Walking into happiness. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody else. Somebody that is spiritually strong. Could be an older gentleman. But I feel like whoever it is, you guys will be a match. Good gentleman, good lady. There's a court issue going on with here. This situation with this distorted person. I was told that somebody needs to have a PPO. You know, potentially a protection order. You know, so that you can protect yourself. You may need something in terms of documentation. 
just in case this person comes towards you. Um, the sad thing about our society is often this person has to do something towards you in order for you to get protection for you. So you may want to just make sure you listen to your spirit. And uh, yeah, this judgment, like I said, this person may make a choice to come towards you. Like they may have already decided to do it and they may be planning something, logic, you know. Yeah. They may be thinking that they're very smart, smart enough to get away with it, smart enough to get around um, the processes, the protections, the gate, I feel, to kind of sneak you in some sort of way. That's why I say, like, the way our system is set up, it's like a person almost have to be put in danger before, you know, they have the opportunity to protect themselves. But in this day and age, also, just like we said, PPOs, and those are freaking, you know, abbreviations, they're CCWs. That's another one. We don't know how you feel about those types of things, but I'm just putting it out there. This is for educational purposes, not just for entertainment, because somebody definitely feels at a loss and regret. They don't like this change that's going on like you're getting dharma and they're getting karma and they see it they know it you move into happiness and they can't stand it you definitely are enlightened and let the spirit enlighten you if it tells you to do something for your own protection please do because i feel like this person is studying and planning something and i don't feel like it's good we see authority and intellect somebody that's very knowledgeable like they are studying ways to get around the system you know because they feel like that they do. Anything else in here, beloved? Yes. Tower. It's going to take something for this to come to an end. Keep your wits about you. The spirit is bringing a warning. Yeah. Yeah. This person feels delayed or you are um, in a state to look king of swords energy this person is held up and delayed in this obsessive ass energy they are they and you but you are protected this kept coming out protection protection they are delayed and held up and they are thinking 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 very dark gloomy thoughts about you how they can get to you, how they can find you. Because you guys had a shared vision, building this foundation, and they can't do it by themselves. Justice, I feel divorce, it all came down. Ace of Cups, you took the love, but you have spiritual gifts, and I feel like the spirit definitely protected you. You've listened to your intuition and it serves you. I feel like the spirit keeps moving you. What did I say? Keeps moving you. You keep on moving. But I feel like whatever has been taken away from you is coming back to you. Like you calling all of your power back. And this person, I feel like, is prepared to take some sort of action. They see you somehow getting wish fulfillment celebrating i feel even and they don't like it they don't like it at all queen of swords energy matching that king of swords you're just as smart as them this person may be king of pentacles energy who is that the we or somebody else coming there's another person coming somebody else is coming and I feel like this person can either feel it or they don't like it. I feel like the person that's coming, are they steady? Yeah, they steady. And you may be getting some communication from that other person. They may want to meet with you they because they, they are still conflicted. They really are. I feel a meeting, a conversation, something to kind of, uh, yeah, they may be trying to pull on your heartstrings, but there's an illusion here. There's something that you don't see. I feel like they want to stop you from moving forward or you should just continue to go forward and close out the cycle. And I feel don't speak. Don't speak. Ten of Cups is around the corner for you. It's coming. But I feel like, again, this person is dangerous. 
anything else in this energy yes but not here no two of cups is coming for you it is Somebody is going to be held up and delayed or the two of cups that's coming is held up and delayed for some sort of reason. Probably on the, for this tower that's impending. I feel an impending tower coming. Impending tower. King of Swords energy. Look, what did I say? Didn't I say they was planning something dark? Because they see you with a fresh start. They're going to do something foolish, I feel. They're going to take a risk. Something sneaky, treacherous. This person is not trustworthy. They are not. They are manipulative and they've already made the judgment to do something. They refuse to get this karmic lesson or they are facing this karmic lesson and they don't like what they see in the mirror. They can't face it. They are, they are in the middle of a karmic lesson. They are, but they cannot face it. They refuse to see it. They have blinded themselves to it. They are not participating in the spiritual awakening, and this is them, how they are coming towards the foolish. But I feel like you are protected. I see temperance. The angels are surrounding you. They are protecting you. Yeah, from this, yeah. We see King of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is impulsive and they will stay in that energy for a long time. They've been in this energy for a long time. I feel like they have a mask of being a very, I feel alpha energy. Um, and you know, in this space, I read alpha more like the divine feminine energy. But I feel like it's in a masculine person and it's flipped, it's distorted. Like what they consider to be alpha is not alpha, you know. And they need to go inside and really deal with they self and follow their own internal light, but they refuse to do it. They are stuck in conflict and they are in this underdeveloped stage, Knight of Wands. They are impulsive. And they are feeling at a lack, five of cups, lost in despair. They don't want anything else because they already felt like they had a ten of cups with you and nothing can replace it. I feel like you got a ten of cups and a new situation coming for you for the week. And this person feels like they will not ever have that thing, the thing that they had with thee, the foundation, the vision, the dream, the success. All of it, the whole of it is lost. It's crumbled and they'll never get it back. That they're going to be missing out. Do you want this to stay on the table? No, pick it up. Yeah. Again, seven of wands. You are protected. You're protected. Anything else in here? No, I felt you pick up the rubber band and put it back in there. This. King of Swords energy right at the top of this. Again, endurance. Five of Pentacles lost. Enduring loss. This person feels at a loss and they are planning. They are strategizing. You want this? Yeah, what did I say? Watching. They see. Now they know who you are and they are. They see. They are watching. They have awakened to the true situation. Look, Five of Swords. Backed up with the Seven of Swords. Backed up with secrecy. They are moving in secret. And they've already made the choice because they are locked up in their head about how this whole thing ended. This cycle. They've lost you. Their Queen of Cups energy. But again, Seven of Wands. You are protected from whatever it is that they are devising. Whatever this is that they see, that they are trying to manifest, you are protected. If they come to you with an offer, don't take it. Ace of Pentacles. Your gift will protect you from whatever it is that they are planning. But they see you being gifted with opportunity. They do. They do. Maybe it's another emperor that has been ordained for you. 
or if this person has any type of emperor energy, they don't. But I feel like this is a new person that the Most High God has judged for you. Like you, your soulmate has been replaced or some sort. Maybe you guys had a soul contract that was broken. This person betrayed the contract is what I'm hearing when I'm being told. And now the judgment from the Most High God is that you've been reassigned to a new emperor. And I feel like this person knows it. They feel it. Yep, they know it. They feel it. They know it. With the sun, you enlightenment, that you're going to move over to success. Look, four of wands, a new partnership, celebration. Four pillars of abundance. Yeah, knight of wands, king of wands. This person, like I said... I feel like they are an enlightened individual too, but they are linked into the dark side. If you want this up, leave it down. Anything else in here? A force of nature. And see, a force of nature, I get that impulsive action, but it feels fast to me like the Knight of Wands, almost like a Knight, Knight of Wands. This is the Knight of Wands. I'm feeling Knight of Swords, like rushing, like an unstoppable force, like this person's the way that they are moving, the way that they are thinking, the way that they are planning and prepared to take action, like you almost can't stop this person from doing what they want to do. They are coming towards you. They are planning it, and that's just it. There's nobody that's going to stop them, that's going to change their mind to deter them from it. Yes. You see, surrender to your full power. Surrender to your full power. If there's something else that you can do to protect yourself, do it. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. You can't play it small with this person. You got to go all in. This is a spiritual battle and this person is determined to win. Even if that means there's only one standing at the end. Surrender to creativity. You may need to be more creative in how you protect yourself. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how you how to pursue or how to solve this problem. That's what I'm being told to say, how to solve this problem. Surrender to divine timing. Something is going to happen in a way with the timing. I feel the full moon illumination, but I do feel like it's shrouded in confusion, like it's cloudy. You can't really see. I feel like if something is going to happen in divine timing, like it's going to be divinely timed where this person won't be able to get to you. They will. You will be protected from this energy or if they... If something happens, it's going to lead to a situation where you are able to further protect yourself so that you can rest and sleep. You can release any worry that you may have and get back into the lightheartedness, being able to play and allow your spirit to be free. Surrender stubbornness. If there's something that you need to do, do it. Be obedient. Listen to your spirit. And believe, surrender your belief in scarcity. Like, you either don't have enough tools, there's not enough resources, or maybe, you know, support. You know, maybe you feel like you can do it on your own. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Surrender your ego. Like, you feel like you got it. Like, you can take care of yourself, which is good. Independence, but whatever. At the end of the day, allow people to help you and allow people to support you. You know, you have more support than what I think. I think you are, that you give into. I think you have more support than what you recognize. Yeah, and surrender to your soul's path. I feel like you have a mission. You definitely have 
a decree that you have come to do that the Most High God is protecting you. You are on the pathway to enlightenment on your spiritual journey. And I feel like you are protected. That just as long as you stay diligent and you stay obedient to the path and the steps that you are being divinely guided to take, you definitely will be okay. Anything else? No. Chakras. Crown chakra. Yeah, these are yoga steps, beginner and intermediate steps for yoga to open up and balance your crown chakra. I feel like the most high God is steady talking to you and giving you messages and wanting you to open up, you know, to the downloads that you are receiving. Maybe this will help you to release some um, anxious energy that you may have or any blockages that you may have in terms of uh, surrendering to the guidance that you are being given. These are some moves that you can can do if you are into yoga. This one. This one. We talk about that mudra. Opening up your heart. Balancing that heart chakra. This could be for the other person who needs to come to emotional balance. I feel like you know, if that person is a cross watcher in this space, because I'm definitely picking up this energy um, very, very heavy. Yes, yeah, sacral chakra is here and throat chakra. Speaking truth, eucalyptus, sacral chakra is here. Balance, balance. You're sensual with healthy sexuality, passionate and creative. Creative. We saw surrender your creativity. And maybe I put it back in there. Nope, I didn't. It's right here. Thank you, Spirit. Creativity. You know, be using your emotional intelligence and staying balanced. You know, I feel like somebody is unbalanced, though. They are dealing with intimacy. Intimacy. Mm -mm. feelings of guilt and shame, emotional instability, and suppressed creativity. Surrender to creativity. So somebody may be feeling that suppressed creativity. And I don't know if it's you or if it's them or the both of you sharing that type of energy, but I feel like somebody definitely is experiencing emotional instability, feelings of guilt and shame, the, other, the tear, and suppress creativity. That's you, Weep. Yeah. Solar plexus chakra needing to transmute the energy. Yeah. And here are some more yoga poses. Maybe the spirit is wanting you to either get into yoga, start practicing yoga, stretch and open yourself up, you know, aligning your chakras, being able to transmute that energy because that's a lot and I can feel it. And it's definitely stuck on me seriously yeah sacral chakra here's a hand mudra that you may do in order to kind of open up that sacral chakra and balance it out work that energy center anything else no Emotionally intelligent and balanced. And we see sensual with healthy sexuality. You know, maybe that's something that the spirit, the most high God, again, crown chakra spit, split right back on those exercises, the same ones, like out of this deck, like really. I mean, but look, the same one, same one. Opening up the sacral chakra. Yeah. Anything else, beloved? Anything else? Something else in here? Yes. That's exactly what the Most High said. And also, paying attention to your intuition. Third eye chakra. 
for that crown needs to be opened up and balanced out so that you can get those downloads so that you can follow what the most high God is telling you. Surrendering onto it and being obedient to what you are hearing and seeing intuitively. asking the spirit if they want anything out this deck. They said no. Is there anything else? All right. We let the angel speak. We see Archangel Michael. You are protected. How many times do we see seven of wands? You are protected. You are. The divine physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Health is going to be good, you know, for you focusing on your health, on coming to balance, doing what you need to do. Again, focusing on that inner power. We saw spiritual strength saying that you need to tap into um, your spiritual strength and pull in, tap into your full power at this time, you know. I see the Omega, the Divine Father, you know, for creating a new world for you, that full energy that we saw somebody stepping into a whole new cycle, you know, I feel balance coming in, change and transition, like I said, stepping into a whole new cycle, change and transition, it's here. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change, safely. You are surrounded by angels. What did I say? You are protected. You are surrounded by angels who are protecting you, who are guiding you through. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Spiritual abundance. Ace of Cups. Spiritual abundance is here. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Infinite. And I feel like this person can see that on you. You are generous. You are giving. And that all of that Queen of Cups energy, nurturing, loving, pouring into others, oftentimes before you pour into self. And when you walk away from a person who has been spiritually and emotionally stunted, where they are underdeveloped page energy, even though they are an adult in that king type of persona, it presents a huge conflict. They are warring with themselves and they are unable to reconcile and come to balance with what, the, what, what is, that this no longer is. And now you are having to transform and transition to take the lesson and to develop self, to rise above. Instead of rising above, they are sinking low. And their thoughts are ruminating them thoughts. One and six is seven, introspection. Their thoughts and what they're thinking is very, very, very low. Do you want another one? I see a Libra is here. I see Aquarius. This person is definitely having issues coming to balance. I feel that they could be a Libra, but they definitely are having issues with balance. And again, they could be facing something with the justice system or you may need to get the justice system involved. I see Aquarius here. I feel like the flow that you have is overflowing. Your gift or your love just pours out and you pour it out. Again, a person could also be an Aquarius. They could have, you could be an Aquarius. You could be um, somebody that has a lot of spiritual knowledge. You know what I mean? Your spiritual gifts are just, like I said, in, in high abundance. This one right here. Pisces. This person, and I see Scorpio. 
Pisces and Scorpio. I feel Pisces, um, yin and yang just came to mind. I feel um, temperance card. I feel angel activity. I feel protection from whatever this is. This I feel sound ending. I feel dark. I feel distorted. I feel and not that, you know, Scorpio is bad, but it's a transitionary, yeah, change. It's a transition. You know, it's a transitionary energy. Something is ending, and I feel to balance and begin again. You know, like they need to begin again to come to uh, an equilibrium. I feel the world turning or the cycle is turning, the wheel is turning, change is happening, and this person is stuck. Like they refuse to move with the change or to allow the change to happen. They are very resistant and they are working to turn back. I feel the hands of time in the other direction. Spiritual abundance. Honor your feelings and transformation. They are trying to stop this transformation. And when I open my eyes, what's facing me, I'm keeping my finger on it, is Scorpio. They are trying to stop this transition. I see Aquarius, the water bearer, though. It's change is happening. It's rolling forward. Like, it's... I, I hear like the change is pouring out. Like once it's poured out, that overflow, it can't be taken back up again. It's already out there. It's, it's, it's already been poured out. I'm seeing five of cups. Like the water has already been poured out. It's already been spilled out. And there's nothing that they can do to take it back. They want to take it back. They want to hold it in like they are almost regressing instead of allowing the change to go forward and to go with the changes to flow with the changes they want to pull it back and they want to hold it back and hoard it just like hold on to this position like they are so resistant to letting it go Sagittarius is here with the archer I don't know what you call them, but I feel like they are protecting you. Yeah. Definitely feel Scorpio and I see Pisces. That's the way it was placed down. Deeper insights are in hand definitely something deep it's a deep message into this you know again i definitely feel karmatic lessons i feel spiritual growth i feel ascension and descension at the same time we see let it go somebody is unable to let it go they are holding on tight to something and see, your loved ones are safe. You are safe. You are safe. Your loved ones are safe. You are protected. And we see it's time to play. And we also saw surrender to play. Surrender to play. Do something to change your energy. Lighten your load. Lighten your heart. Something to help you regain your focus. Maybe it's going to help you open up more spiritual gifts. You know, again, I feel that Alpha and Omega with you. I saw Embrace this magical moment. You know, for you that is going on a spiritual journey, you're listening to the Spirit, having the Spirit move you. You are protected. This is an opportunity for you to stay surrendered and obedient to the Spirit. Go deeper with your gifts, trusting as they move you. And being, again, very obedient to the inklings and to the messages that you are receiving. Increase your knowledge. That's exactly what we were saying. And no, it's not yet time. 
and it flew out in reverse. Yes, it is time. Time to let this go. Time for it to end. Time for it to be over. Somebody's vibration is rising. Again, deeper insights are at hand. Anything else? The Most High says, you are safe. You are safe. You are safe. You are safe. So mode it is, so mode it is, so mode it is, so mode it be, so mode it be, so mode it be. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Tears and We Tarot Show. You never know what you're going to get. The Alpha and Omega had to bring the rest of this message because they deemed important for you to hear it, to know it. There was something else that you need to know to pay attention to the red flags. To pay attention to the red flags. I feel like you want me to get the, the you want these? Yeah. To buy something up. Like we've been have been working to buying things up and I didn't know like how um important that was in just in more ways than just what I was thinking. Like how it is to you know to just do that action. And that's what I'm being told to say on to D right now. Like, maybe that's something you need to do, you know, is to surrender um, to this information, to uh, not only to divine timing, but to creativity. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, and the messages that you are receiving and see how it's good for you, how it's preparing you, how it's moving you and setting you up, whether it is spiritually or physically, mentally, financially, all of it, you know. Sometimes we don't see how those things are important until, you know, after the fact. Because sometimes retrospect, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. And when the Most High is telling you something, you may not know, again, how that is going to be a lesson that you are being taught so that you can put it into practice because it's something that is protecting you from something that's coming. Again, we see this offer, Knight of Cups, imagination. You don't know what the Most High God is offering you. It may be something to protect you. You know, I feel you working in the spirit, three of cups, you know, the alpha, the omega in you. They are working with you to grow you, to show you, you know, how to move. Reminding you to stay surrendered. Three of pentacles, ace of cups. Spiritually gifted while you're building a certain type of foundation, a new legacy something that they are helping you to create the full energy anything else speak your truth speak it lovingly speak it honestly and you may need to do it um, written word to document events so that you can stay protected. Yeah. That's what we got for y'all. Loving you guys like I love me. Like I love the Alpha and Omega that made me. That created me. That sent me. That called me to be. According to my decree. The infinite intelligence breathing. A.K.A. the word resurrecting is day wisdom. The principal thing. Value it. Listen to your intuition. Let it guide you. So that you may be safe, that you may be protected, that you may fulfill that which you were sent to do. Anything else? To the next now. This one's done.
Ashe.